Hey guys, if you're trying to do this outsourced accountant model, I'm gonna keep cranking out content about this because it's important. Um, I just had another series of comments on my videos about what do I do? There's a lot of you that wanna do a bookkeeping company. You're trying to become a bookkeeper and a stay-at-home bookkeeping job. And the reason why so many people are inclined to this, and I actually have videos that rank on this term, is because um, people want work from home jobs. The, the gig economy is huge. So if you've read these blog posts that talk about what are the top work from home jobs and you're looking for a top, top work from home job, a bookkeeper is one that often comes up. So then, um, you know, it talks about how all you have to do is get some training, understand how to do QuickBooks Online or, or Gusto or Zero or any of these bookkeeping um, things. But here's the deal. You got to go all in to become what I, I call a outsourced accountant, okay? And there's one of two models here, okay? If you're gonna become a bookkeeper, you have to do business to business, okay? So you need to be in the job of helping a business or a small business, an entrepreneur. And this could be any S-Corp, um, even, even if there's only one employee, they need to keep their books up to date, they need to get their payroll run. Um, and here's what I'm gonna to cut to the chase. I don't think you should be just a bookkeeper. Bookkeeping itself is commoditized, okay? You're gonna be in a trap if you wanna be a bookkeeper or a work from home bookkeeper. The problem with being a work from home bookkeeper is that right now Intuit and a couple other companies are providing bookkeeping services done for you for dirt cheap. I'm talking 90 bucks, like a quarter. Like they're dirt cheap, okay? And in my model, I talk about how bookkeeping is so important, but it's not the actual service for the customer. Sure, it saves them time and it makes sure that the accounting is done right. What I would propose is instead of being a work from home bookkeeper, I want you to be a work from home outsourced accountant. And there's one of two models here. Okay, to be an outsourced accountant, you need to learn small business operations. Okay, so now a bunch of you just freaked out. Oh, I read these blog posts that I can be a bookkeeper and it's not hard and I don't know business and I don't do this. If you're an organized person that can understand processes, you can do this, okay? There's three or four realms of education you need to get and you can teach yourself. You don't need to get certificates. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. I think you should do taxes for people. <gasps> Most of you just freaked out there, but you can do it, okay? If you Google the term, become a tax preparer in my state. So um, tax preparer, Minnesota, becoming a tax preparer, Minnesota. You'll see that there's an IRS certification you gotta get, you gotta do some training. And then what you'll do is uh, you'll just have to learn some software, okay? You can learn how to do TurboTax for businesses. You can do the Schedule C, you can do the 1120S or go get a NOLO, N as in Nancy, O-L-O. -O. NOLO and even um, the dummies books, tax, business taxes for dummies, but NOLO has some really good small business S Corp LLC um, books that show you exactly how to do your taxes each year. Go get the book, learn how to do it. Second thing you should do is, is bookkeeping, okay? You can train yourself how to be a great bookkeeper by becoming a QuickBooks Pro Advisor or even using Zero Gusto or some of these other um, bookkeeping programs or, or big firms that are out there. I really like QuickBooks Online. And then the third thing is payroll, okay? Payroll, whether they have one payroll because they're an S-Corp, and watch my other videos, you have to have a, a, a payroll company if you're an S-Corp, or even if they have multiple companies, you can wholesale it. You could use QuickBooks Payroll, you can use ADP or Paychex or Gusto um, there, there, or Zero. Almost all of these companies have a payroll solution now. So here's the deal. Don't be just a bookkeeper because bookkeeping is commoditized and you can't do meaningful work as a bookkeeper. You will have fun if you get five or six companies, if you're just a, a work from home side gig, where you do their taxes at the end of the year. You do their bookkeeping every week. So every week, make sure their books are up to date or every other week, make sure their books are totally reconciled and ready to go. And then you're gonna run their payroll for them. And payroll is usually a weekly thing, right? So you can self-teach yourself that. But if you frame it up, that's business not model one. That's my outsourced accountant. But a bunch of you just freaked out about the tax thing. A bunch of you want nothing to do with taxes and that's okay. I think what you should do is you should bundle up bookkeeping with payroll services, okay? If you're gonna be a, a stay-at-home bookkeeper, don't do just bookkeeping. Do the processing of the payroll and then you can also get paid for getting payroll, okay? You could either one, use QuickBook, just sign your customers up for QuickBooks um, bookkeeping, but go get the affiliate account. So 
I have an affiliate account. Go look at the, hit the link in the description. Sign up through me. I get a little spiff, but then you can get the the Intuit um, program that allows you to, to get paid when you sign somebody up. So you make a little commission there. Um, two, you could go to ADP and you could get set up as a reseller or a wholesaler, okay? If you're a reseller, you'll build a relationship with um, your your local ADP rep. The local ADP rep gets paid a commission just like life insurance people do. And you also get a spiff. It usually takes about six months to hit where if you sign up a client for ADP, they'll help your client get set up. They try and sell them all sorts of crap. (laughs) HR books and 401ks and stuff, which that might be all right. And then what you do is, is you actually run ADP run is what it's called. That's another model. You could do it with paychecks as well. You could do it with Gusto. You can do it in Zero. There's all these different uh, programs that you can do it. If you provide just those two services, then what I do is go build a relationship with a local tax preparer that doesn't want to touch this stuff, right? Um, and, and if you snoop around, you'll find the, the guys that just like doing taxes. They take most of the year off and then they absolutely kill themselves during during the tax season. And you could go work with somebody. But so find a tax preparer and say, hey, all I do is I provide payroll and I provide bookkeeping. I'm wondering, would you, can I send my tax return clients to you? They're going to say yes, but then they're going to get greedy eventually and they're going to want that um, retainer. So just know that I think that providing those three as a service is the most important. Now, the wrapper around that is to help them. If you are bold enough, and, and a lot of you are scared to do this, but if you become financially and tax wise, you can provide advice. Go read Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University. Help them do the seven baby steps. The second thing I would do is go read Sandy Botkin, B-O-T-K-I-N. Every year he comes out with a small business tax reduction book. Go read Mark Kohler, K-O-H-L-E-R. He has an updated Tax Cut and Jobs Act up, uh, updated. It's called the Tax and Legal Playbook, or he has a couple other books. Go read his tax planning books. When you, And then there's Robert Kiyosaki. He has a, a bunch of books. Go read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That's just the fundamentals of, of being a business owner or investor versus just being an employee. But then the other thing that you can do is you can look into his tax books. So he has Tom Wheelwright and Wheelwright, I think it's the tax loopholes of real estate and then tax free wealth. There's two books that are like purple. Go look at those books. If you can engage with these people and say, Hey, just so you know, have you thought about becoming an escort? Hey, just so you know, have you looked at a SEP IRA, a simple IRA or a solo 401k? If you're an individual business owner, Or have you looked at having a 401k with Vanguard or or one of these other companies? Have you looked at all the things you can do with your your car for a write-off? Boy, there's bonus depreciation. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. Have you looked at retirement plans? Have you you dove into all these tax write-offs that are out there? And you can serve as a guide. Help them see the power of investing. Help them see the power of debt-free life. And you can have a meaningful operation. So I'm telling you, If you're looking to be this stay-at-home bookkeeper, I think you should be an outsourced accountant. If you're scared of the taxes, go have coffee with every tax firm around you till you find someone and frame it up this way. Hey, I'm looking for someone to to send my tax business to. Will you help us do business tax returns? I'm just looking for business tax, business and personal, but that's primarily what I'm doing. And uh, that can be good, but I think what would be better is you go Google the term, become a professional tax preparer, California, Arkansas, wherever you are, and uh, get the IRS blessing and get your state's blessing. And I think you can do some meaningful work. There's no reason why you can't. I'm telling you, you really can. It's all process. And uh, if business owners can launch out and do it themselves in a muddy, yucky way, doggone it, you can teach yourself with these NOLO books, N-O-L-O, and you can learn how to do this. Good luck, guys.